What's up, Closer Nation? Man, I'm on like a video streak. Like if this was Halo, it would be like killing streak, right? Just like, I got a lot of stuff to say. And today, one of those things is like, I wanna talk about saying no. And uh, so, hey, if you're just now hopping on here, it's gonna be a couple minutes before I get into the whole thing, because I know I wanna get some people on here so they can see it from the beginning live, because I know there's a little lag. Facebook's gotta be like, hey, yo, the Closer's talking, like let all y'all know and everything else. So I'm gonna do that, so share this. If you have a group, especially put it in your group, uh, share it on your page, start commenting so that maybe some of your sales friends see that we're on here, because I'm gonna share a big one today. It's gonna, I'm gonna reframe your thinking when it comes to the word no, right? It's huge, it's gonna change a lot of the way that you do sales, gonna change the way that you do life. You just gotta bear with me here. This is called the warm up, right? You're killing the dead air, trying to make sure that some people can get logged. We, we got Pete, Cam camera late, beautiful camera woman. Do we have some people logged on here? Yes, sir, we do. All right, awesome, see, see, I got this camera partner. And matter of fact, if, <laughs> let, let me just say that, I'm hiring a full-time videographer, right? Like maybe even a crew. Uh, so if that's you, you have the equipment, the experience, you can edit. I'm not looking for someone who could just hold a camera. I'm looking for someone who can edit, someone with experience. So if that's you, send us a message at the Hardcore Closer fan page here where you're watching this at, just send me a message. I personally reply to all those messages. Uh, watch out, you might get sold something for those of you that ask questions, right? Uh, I personally reply to all those questions, but I'm looking for someone to come on and help us with video. So here's the thing, I wanna talk to you Today about saying no right and, and I want to ask you this question first before I get into everything are you the type of person that says no a lot like are, are you the type of person that when you go somewhere and someone tries to offer you something you always try to get that best deal right you always trying to get the lowest amount you always try to beat the other person up are you one of the people that's like immediately your first reaction is always no because here's the thing I, I had an event one time and this event there was like 30 different ways that we had this, this system work. And it was like each one of those 30 ways had like a 10 different alter, uh, uh, what do you call it? Alternatives that you could use, like alterations, <laughs> things you could do different with it, right? So, some alternate ways to, of even making it even cooler, right? So let's just say there was 300 possible combinations of awesomeness. And then there was a person in the group uh, or in the event that said, hey, well, it doesn't do this. I'm like, out of 300 awesome things, you're looking for the one thing that it doesn't do. Well, what happens is a lot of times people are always focused on the negative, right? Like when they go into sales, for example, and they go into a situation, if you're used to telling everybody no, right? If that's your thing, if you're always like, no, no, I don't want to buy that. I don't want to buy that. I don't want to get involved in that. I don't want to take part in that. No, if you're a no person, then guess what? That's what you're focused on is always telling people no. You'll be focused on people to tell you no to them. Believe it or not, without getting too hokey, the way that the law of attraction works is when you're focused on something, that's what the universe gives you. Right? So when you're focused on telling everybody else no, and you're focused on, since you're that way, you probably assume everybody else is that way, so you start telling people no all the time, and you're looking for them to start telling you no, and guess what? When you go out looking for something, you'll usually find it. I can walk out the front door of the penthouse today, and I can look for horrible people, right? And I can find them. They're probably all over the hood over here. We live right next to all sorts of crackheads and shit, right? I can find horrible people. Or I can walk out the front door, and I can find great people. And I can find people that, now I might even find Mark Cuban in my neighborhood. He lives less than a mile down the street from us here, right? George Bush, the same way. I can go out looking for positive things. I can go out looking to align myself with cool people where I can go out there looking for trouble. Right, and so, but if I focused on looking for trouble, right, like oftentimes when somebody drinks, right, they become who they are, then they start looking for trouble, and you see a true reflection of their life, they're like, here they are in, a, in what should be known as a state of euphoria, but yet they're looking for trouble, right? And we see that in the sales world too. Lots of people, they go out and they figure out, man, I can't, I don't know why I can't sell nothing, because you sell how you buy, and if you're a terrible buyer, if you're always telling people no, and you're always focused on the negative, or you always go knock other salespeople and be like, yeah, I got a deal, I'm a salesperson, I know how to get over on them, then you wonder why people do that to you, because that's how you are, and we attract who we are. We, we attract others who do life in the same manner as us, and even if we don't attract others who do life in the same manner as us, we start channeling their actions to do that subconsciously, right? You know, one of the things that, that Amy and I were talking about yesterday in the car, we were talking about some of the issues and some of the stress that we have, and she says, well, I think you're always looking for that. I think you expect this to happen, and since you expect that to happen and you go looking for it, that's what, that's what ends up manifesting in your life. Well, I'm like, well, ain't you been paying attention to the videos and blog posts I write? Thank you for the... Resume. Okay, you go. All right, sorry about that. The phone rang. If, if, if I go and I go out in the marketplace and I'm always looking for a business partner to screw me over, I'm always looking for someone to steal from me or copy my stuff or knock me off or prospect my people, if that's what I look for, that's what I find. 
but instead I can go out into the marketplace. And this is a real problem that I face on a daily basis. I have to choose to go out in the marketplace and find people like you that are getting value from these videos, sharing it with your sales teams, talking about it in the circles, like the coming to realization and ultimately making more money. And that's what I choose every day to go look for. How can I make this person's life better? How can I see a reflection that this person learned something and closed the sale from it? How do I see it? Like we see it in the sales talk with sales pro groups all the time. People back there say, I read Ryan's shit, went out, did what it said, and lo and behold, I made some money from it, right? I have to focus on those things versus the people in China who are always stealing my products and selling them for $49, right? And then the, the, the sad thing is it's not even my product, so I worry about them stealing it, using my name, selling it for 49 bucks, finding out that it's a complete ripoff, and then somebody put me on the ripoff report like if I'm an affiliate or some shit, right? These are the things that I could get focused on and mad at, but instead I choose to stay focused on the people like you that are benefiting from this stuff, which keeps me going. The phone just ring again? No. Nope. Uh, whoever it was texting me, at least they follow instructions. <laughs> See, on my phone, when you call my voicemail, it says, don't leave me a voicemail. I don't check them, I don't listen to them, like screw up with the voicemail shit, hang up and text me. And maybe if your clients aren't calling you back and you're leaving voicemails, maybe it's time to start texting them too, right? Pretty cool voicemail. So people that pay good attention and follow instructions, they call and then they end up not leaving a voicemail because they can listen and they send me a text message. That's what's happened there. But anyway, so I want to challenge you to this today and really for the rest of your life. Are you, are you a no person? Are you saying no too much? Because if you're saying it all the time, chances are you're getting it as well, right? That's like how that whole balance thing, whatever you give out seems to come right back at you. And so if you're saying no all the time and you're beating up other salespeople when you go buy stuff and you would never want to deal with you as a salesperson, especially if you're bragging about that to other salespeople and then you're struggling to make sales where you're at, listen, the two are directly correlated, my friend. I hate to tell you that. Well, really, I don't hate to tell you that. I love to tell you that. I hate that that's affected, that, that, that that's affected your life this far, but today you get to make a decision to be like Jim Carrey. You get to be a yes man. Now, I'm not saying say yes to anything, but I'm telling you to go look for the yes. Stop focusing on the no. A lot of times you get objections you don't even, you don't even have to deal with. You start getting focused on the no, right? And so you start like handling objections before the clients even give them to you because you're focused on the no. Focus on the yes. Focus on the positive things and quit saying no, right? Because if you're telling everybody no, you can't get mad that everybody's telling you no too because even the Bible tells you that you reap what you sow, right? So with that being said, stop telling people no. Let's go get some yeses today. Close your nation. I'm out.